Hello, my name is Gary and I'm going to demonstrate how you can connect your GoPro Hero 4 to your Remote View R1. Uh, the GoPro Hero 4 is a little bit different than the Hero 3 in that the very first time that you use Wi-Fi you need to first pair it with your smartphone application and you need to do that first so you can set up a Wi-Fi name and password so that you can use that Wi-Fi name and password to connect to your R1. So we're going to go through the steps right now on how to do that. The first thing that we would like to do is turn on the GoPro. You can do that by pushing the power button on the front of the GoPro, holding it for a second. Once the power is on, then we want to turn on the Wi-Fi. You can do that quickly by pushing and holding the button on the side for a second. This will then display the wireless menu. We want to scroll down to the GoPro app menu item and push the top shutter button to select it, so to go into the GoPro app. This is now going to give us a pairing number. We're going to use this pairing number with the GoPro app on the smartphone to then set up a Wi-Fi name and password. We now need to use our smartphone to connect to the GoPro using Wi-Fi. So go into your Wi-Fi settings on your phone. You're going to look for a Wi-Fi network that starts with GP. You can see here that my phone has found one that starts with GP and then a bunch of random numbers afterwards. That is going to be your GoPro. You want to select that and it's going to prompt you for a password. The password is going to be GoPro Hero. It's all lowercase and it's all one word. I am now connected to my GoPro through my smartphone. And now what we need to do is start the GoPro app on our smartphone to set up a Wi-Fi username and password. So on your phone, you want to go to the GoPro app. I'm using a Windows phone, which is going to be a little bit different than the Android app and the iPhone app, but essentially it'll be the same thing. So I'm going to start the GoPro app. The GoPro app is now going to detect that this is the very first time that I am connecting to my Hero 4 through the smartphone and it's going to ask me to enter in the pairing number that is displayed on the GoPro. So you can see here there's a pairing number and it's asking me to enter it in right here. I'm going to enter it in that number, click pair my camera, and it's now going to give me a prompt that I can enter in a camera name and a password. This camera name and password is what you're going to use to connect your GoPro to your Remote View R1. So I'm going to give it a name of The password needs to be a minimum length of eight characters. I'm gonna put in eight cues, and then I'm gonna click Apply Changes. This is now gonna set up this Wi-Fi name and password on my GoPro, and I'm gonna click the button to connect to it. So it's gonna take me back to my Wi-Fi settings. It's gonna scan for a Wi-Fi network, and it's gonna find my new GoPro Wi-Fi name that I have entered in, which is GoPro Hero 4B. Now that we've set up a Wi-Fi a name and password on our GoPro, we no longer need our cell phone. So I'm going to turn Wi-Fi off on my cell phone to disconnect from my GoPro. And now I can use my R1 to connect to my GoPro. So I'm going to turn on the R1 by pushing the power button here in the middle, holding it for a second. The remote view is now going to search for any GoPros that have their Wi-Fi on. It is detected uh, that it has found the GoPro Hero 4B, which is the Wi-Fi name that I have just given to my GoPro. I'm going to push the top shutter button to select that. And it is now prompting me for the password that for this GoPro. The password was 8Qs, so I'm going to select 8Qs. And then I will then go down to the Enter and push Enter to connect to the GoPro. The remote view is now going to connect to the GoPro. You can see that the blue light is now, the light is now changed to blue, indicating that it's connecting. You can now see that the remote view is now connected to the GoPro. As I mentioned at the beginning, that only needs to be done once. So if we were to turn off the remote view, and if we were to turn off the Wi-Fi on the GoPro, I will now turn the Wi-Fi back on on the GoPro. I will turn the remote view back on. Now the remote view is searching for the GoPro and it will automatically connect since we've already set it up. And that's it, you can now use your remote view R1.